Are you tired of hearing that same default iPhone ringtone every time someone calls you? Do not worry because in this video I'm going to show you how to add customized ringtones into your iPhone so you can have your favorite artist song playing every time someone calls you. What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in this channel I provide you tech hacks and I also share cool tech fixes. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing. To the channel in today's video i'll show you how to set custom songs or custom ringtones onto your iphone device and this is something that i personally wish apple had already provided to us as an official feature unfortunately this is not official feature yet but we still have a few tweaks that actually allow us to perform this and i'll show you a few workarounds on how to actually set any audio or any song as your ringtone. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So here I am on my iPhone and I'll be performing all the steps in order to show you how to add a custom ringtone on my iPhone X. But if you have a different iPhone model, do not worry because this works on any iPhone device. So the very first thing you need to do is actually make sure that you have an application called GarageBand installed in your iPhone device. This is normally an application that comes installed by default from Apple side. But in order to make sure, we're going to hop into App Store real quick and then we're going to search for Garage. Band. And here we go. We're going to tap on GarageBand. And as you guys can see, I already have it installed on my iPhone device. But in your case, if you do not have GarageBand installed, you'll be able to see a get or download button in here. And you simply need to tap on get to download the application. Now, once you have downloaded GarageBand, simply tap here on open in order to launch the application. So the application requires us to shift into landscape mode because this is how we use the application. Now, in some situations, in some iPhone devices, the application will require you to download iOS 16 or the latest version of iOS. So if you're finding a hard time while downloading the application from the App Store, make sure you update your software by hopping into settings, okay? Scroll down, tap on general, software update, and make sure that you're running the latest version of iOS if you find any issue while downloading the application. Now, this is how the application looks, and the very first thing we need to do is actually scroll right three times and we're gonna hop into audio recorder okay so we're gonna tap here on audio recorder and then the next thing you need to do is actually turn off this button right here this blue button so let me quickly tap once on it now it's white that's the first thing we need to do and the second thing is we need to tap here on this button which has a few blocks so it's the first second and third one right here let me tap on that button and this is how our application is gonna look like. So the next thing we need to do is tap on this plus sign right here or mini button on the right corner. I'm sorry, my screen protector is actually broken. I'll replace that as soon as possible. But yeah, you need to tap on that little button on the corner. It's a plus sign, okay? And then this screen is gonna pop up. So over here, you need to tap here on section A, okay? And you wanna make sure that this automatic button is actually turned off just like my iphone in some situations you're going to find it this way so you need to make sure that you turn it off so that you can actually change the land manually so this is actually the land of our ringtone that we're just about to create so we're going to increase it up to 30 okay here we go 30 seconds as the length. So once we are on 30, all set, we're gonna tap here on done. And this is how our software is gonna look like at the moment. The next thing we need to do is basically tap here on this loop button right here. Okay, we're gonna tap once on it. And then we'll be able to choose our customized audio or song into the application. So we've got here Apple Loops, we've got files, and then we've got music. In our case, we'll be mostly using files and music. For example, if you have songs stored in your music application on your iPhone, you can select any of those songs and then import it into the application to create a customized ringtone. Or if you have songs on files, which is the most common, then we just need to type here on browse items from the files application, okay? 
and then simply select this song for example i've got this song that i've downloaded into files and then all i need to do is simply select the song and import it into the application now if you have questions on how to download the song from your iphone device into the files application real quick let me quickly showcase it to you simply open safari for example hop into google.com and then let's say that i want to download a song from justin bieber for example justin bieber baby song download okay and then i'm gonna search for a third party um website in here let's say this one for example and then i'm gonna scroll down i'm gonna search for the download button okay i'm gonna tap once on download and then you're gonna see a pop-up which says do you want to download da -da 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 -da. i'll tap on download real quick and then that song will actually be stored in my downloads folder inside files application okay files application actually allows you to manage all your files on your apple device so in my case hopping back into our garage band application over here you can actually browse and navigate through all the songs that you've got on your icloud drive or on files application itself okay in my case i'll be going to downloads and then i'm gonna select here the justin bieber song that i've just downloaded which is this one okay right here so in order to import it simply tap once on it and then it's gonna appear here on the recent files okay the next thing you need to do is simply press and hold this song and then drag it here on to the application so here we go the song is now imported into our application and this is the very first phase of creating the custom ringtone for example let me quickly play the song and here we go the song is playing okay and i can also trim the song for example if i don't want the song to start over here i can easily tap once on the song and then simply trim the song up to the minute or second of the song or part of the song that i want to hear as my ringtone for example here okay let's see how the song starts over here so let me tap on play okay let's say that i want it to start right here on you know you love me okay so then once i'm done trimming the song i'm gonna hold the song and simply shift it to the left okay to the first second of the ringtone and then i'm gonna extend here the last five seconds of the song up to the 30 songs because remember we've created a 30 seconds ringtone right so here we go once you're done editing your song you can simply start from the beginning and hear your entire ringtone once again so once you're sure and 100% done creating your ringtone, the next thing we need to do is simply tap here on this little arrow on the top left corner and then tap on my songs, okay? So it's gonna save and here we go. We've got my song right here, which is this one that I've just created as a ringtone. The next thing I need to do is simply press and hold on the song and then release your finger and then over here scrolling down we've got an option which says share okay so i'm gonna tap once on share and then i'll be seeing an option which says ringtone right here so let's simply tap on ringtone and then it's gonna say your ringtone length needs to be adjusted do not worry simply tap and continue and then you need to name that ringtone for example let me just quickly name this ringtone as justin bieber and then i'll tap here on x port on the top right corner so it takes a few seconds as it's creating my ringtone just be patient and wait for a few seconds now ringtone export successful here we go tap on ok we're done let's close the garage panel application let's hop straight into settings on our phone okay scroll down all the way to sounds and haptics scroll down all the way to ringtone and over here we can customize the ringtone as you guys can see here is the ringtone that i've just created let me quickly play it to see if everything's right and here we go it starts exactly on that second that we have just selected so once you're done selecting the song simply close settings and here we go we've completely set up a customized ringtone here on your iphone device and please note that you can actually add 
any audio file whether you have a customized song or audio or anything like that you can actually set it as a ringtone by using this application so this was it for today guys thank you so much for watching fixed by shack and for making it till the end of the video if you like my content here on youtube do not forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below so that my content can actually reach out to more people i'll see you in the next one peace